Ford. A name that some couple of years ago would bring to your mind the fusion, the icon. And all that you and I would know about it is that it is American. Well, Ford has had quite an important role to play in the automotive history, great grandfathered by Henry Ford and parenting some of the visionaries who actually want to change the face of the company. But when the world was hit by recession, Ford had no option but to look east. Little did it know that its decision taken in a state of helplessness would actually be a potential game changer for the company. All thanks to this lady standing here. Well, a Ford has given Figo a midlife facelift and in its name keeping ceremony, it picked up the name Ramkyari. Now, why does it choose to call that? Let's find out. Well, human eye like headlamps, this wide front grille forming face of sorts and bulges at just the right places. And also a choice of bright colours, the blue and the yellow. Who but a human would have this fine sense of colour and appearance? And that is why the name Ramkyari is good enough. It is a personification, but the figure of speech is apt. Well, the central console of the Figo is actually pretty well laid out, so all the buttons are sort of squared in profile and presented onto you on a platter. I quite like the fact that the boot opener is placed here, which means you actually won't have to open the light and struggle between the openers here when you're at the fuel pump or the mall parking for security. A Ford has done some really funny things with the Figo. For example, the cup holder here. Now where is the height? For a cup of this size, this is definitely not going in here. Also, the 12 volt input here actually interferes with the gear change. With well, the steering mounted controls, these are not actually steering mounted controls, these are steering column mounted controls and you can only use them properly when you're driving straight on highways and actually the steering is only at this angle. Very unfortunately, I've never been able to find such roads in Delhi. Also, the engine bay opening lever, now what is it doing there? Figo's performance is something to die for. It is so sorted and brevet high, the engine goes about doing its business with a sense of confidence. Potholes are well isolated from the engine cabin. Something that you will really like about the car is the way the Ford Signature 1.4 Duratorque is mated to the transmission. The gear change operation, and I don't mean in terms of liver slotting, but in terms of response to the car is so smooth. The mid-range of the engine is very punchy. It can be pulled all the way to the red line in it. Something that you will not like about the car is its steering. Now the steering wheel of the Figo is very tight. It lacks a sense of nimbleness and agility. And that's pretty fine here because I'm only having to do about 2-3 degrees of variation about the centre. But a while back I found myself stuck in between two spoons where I had to sort of zigzag through a crowd of half-awake kids anxious parents and raged bus drivers. Now, that was quite a piece. But Ford is getting globally more reliable. It is shedding the sub-brands under it to make its focus on Ford Blue Oval Laser Shop. Well, just how Figo spells the beginning of Ford era in India, it also spells the end of Ford's old strategies. So no more American Ford cars for America or Indian Ford cars for India. The Ford's one Ford strategy, utilizing the capabilities of its international portfolio. A lot of new and exciting products coming our way, but this one has surely woken us up through the blue oval. And also, the chiefly SUV producer is beginning to understand the needs of emerging markets, which lie in small and fuel efficient cars. And we both have won the game in some way or the other.